Who was the rock and roll bank robber, and how did he get you in trouble? That was Shane Williams, and he really was a rock and roll bank robber. And long he was in California. Yeah. Yeah. So long story short, he got he went on a crime spree with an 18 year old girl, and he found some letters that I had written in their part. The father went looking for the daughter, found the letters that I had written. FBI. Yeah. He started threatening me, threatened my parents, threatened me with death and castration. Loaned him a gun. I, did you? Yeah. Wow. Right. Yeah, yeah, you did. I forgot about yeah, that. He loaned me a gun. Yeah, because uh, I had my a dad had some uh, handguns at home, and I didn't tell him. I just kind of took the 45 out, took it over your house, showed how to use it. Yeah, I was sleeping with a 45 under my pillow for a little while, and yeah. then I called the FBI, and then they tapped my phone, and suddenly the call ceased. Which proved to me that the FBI and, and the father of the girl were in cahoots. How else would they have known? Yeah. So anyway, but they called. And then the worst part was they were walking around my neighborhood with a bag, pictures of Shane holding a pound of weed, saying, this man is an associate of Robert Vermeulen, and uh, he lives over there. And I was a school teacher. For God's sakes, I was a fucking school teacher, so that didn't go well. That went over like a fart in church with my neighbors. Yeah, yeah. And my days were numbered as a school teacher. It's just like, one of my students was here today. He walked up and goes, my name's John Weaver, and I was in your fifth grade class. And it was like, holy crap. That was cool. Anyway, that's who the rock and roll bank robber was. And then he went down hard for like 20 years. And he's, I, We played L.A. last year, and he showed up. There he was. He's out again. I said, are you going to stay out for five minutes this time? He's like, yeah, I'm going to stay out. I'm done robbing banks. So.